Here's my full in-depth review of the Knockpix Nova. A super compact thermal made for remote mounting. Most importantly, it has 5 GHz Wi-Fi for a lag-free connection when used with a compatible tablet. It runs a 640 pixel sensor with 15 millikelvin sensitivity and a fixed focus preventing it from going out of focus while on the move. The 1.8 base mag gives you a wide field of view, perfect for remote use, while digital image stabilization keeps things steady. It also features a laser range finder reaching up to 1200 meters and a laser pointer that shows your mates exactly where you're aiming. What really sets the Nova apart is what it doesn't have. No buttons, no screen, no internal battery, it's fully controlled via the Knockpix app where you can toggle the rangefinder, laser, go full screen and record footage. Pairing it is simple. Use USB-C with a power bank, your vehicle or for a waterproof setup, connect straight to 12 volt with the built-in converter. Coming up, we take a look at the image quality comparisons, image stabilization, all the different mounts and brackets and spider bots available as well as torches and lasers, and how to set the device up and how it all works. And don't miss out on our package deals. Now let's take a look at the Nova's image quality at various distances from 20 meters out to 300 meters. Now the Nova doesn't store videos on the device itself. We took these recordings on the tablet. This will give you a very good indication of what to expect from the Nova H35R out in the field. You will see the Nova specifications and environmental conditions in which we did these recordings up in the right hand corner, giving you a transparent view of how we do things across different product reviews. Now that we have taken a look at the closer distances, we will move out to a wider angle of the 100m, 200m and 300m marks, giving you an idea of what a human and a dog look like at these distances. I'm really looking forward to putting the Nova through its paces over the coming months, but if you want tailored advice, feel free to give us a ring. Focusing now on the 100 meter mark, you will see the Nova uses picture in picture mode to zoom in on your target, rather than zooming in the entire screen. I actually don't mind this, it allows you to zoom in while still being able to scan and see a wider field of view of the surrounding area. Let's move back to the 50 meter mark now and take a look at the different color palettes. Currently the Nova only has four standard palettes with the main ones being black and white hot though I do hope we will see more in future firmware updates. Now that we have covered our basic image comparisons let's take a look at some kangaroos, wallabies and cows as they appear on the tablet over Wi-Fi. The quality here from this little device at 185 meters is quite good as you can see. You do have to move your rangefinder icon on the target to get a correct distance before dropping down to lock the zoom onto the target, but this is quite normal. Moving out to the 400 meter mark, now we take a look at some cattle. The Nova is holding the shape quite well at this distance on larger animals. For a small compact unit specifically designed for remote mounting, it's doing a great job. In a bit closer now, at 130 metres, we have some more cattle, and at this distance, we can start to see much more detail, which is pretty bloody awesome. Now let's test how the image stabilisation works on the Nova. When it's active, the unit slightly crops the image and applies digital stabilisation. Unfortunately, we've found that thermals tend to be smoother when mounted to a remote handle rather than directly onto many of the SpiderBot models. SpiderBots have their place, are a great innovation and are improving with every new model. So give us a call for the latest details. Now let's test the image stabilization on the Nova. I'm driving over a rough section here where cattle have walked through in the wet. Let's take a look at how it performs with and without stabilization active. All right, so I'm just gonna drive back and forth over this rough patch. Going back the other way now. This is with image stabilization off. 
as you can see it moves around quite a lot Uh, this is with image stabilization on doing the same thing again with stabilization on going back the other way now and straight away you can see it's quite a lot better a lot less shaking a lot less movement so there is definitely an improvement with image stabilization on Now we're gonna do a direct comparison in the roughest part. On the left we have image stabilization off and on the right it's turned on. So a very clear improvement with image stabilization on. One thing to keep in mind though, when you turn it on, it does crop the image in quite a bit, which narrows your field of view. Let's take a look at the new Contour Lock Thermal Mount. It's designed for those who want a wireless all-in-one thermal and lighting system. Precision molded to hug the base of your specific model of thermal. It creates rock solid stability, dispersing weight evenly to eliminate wobble and handles the most challenging tracks. You can attach a high capacity power bank to extend runtime as well as a super bright wireless torch that rivals traditional spotlights. Your thermal doesn't have a laser pointer, no problem. Swap out one attachment for another, adding a high powered laser for precise targeting. All without wiring cluttering your setup. Great for mounting directly to your remote handle through the roof or your window mount giving you the fastest and most complete wireless setup on the market. The Nova is also compatible with the Wagaya brackets, which is an ecosystem of quick release brackets and mounting options. With their system, one night you can mount your thermal directly to your handle. The next night you can put your light back on with your thermal on top. The best part is when you're not hunting, you can remove the whole lot from your roof. A great Australian product made by fantastic people that live and breathe the bush. It also supports all the smart rest mounting options including rim top and side mounts as well as our wireless torch systems. Ideal for those that rarely use their spotlight. You can mount the Nova or another thermal directly to your handle along with a wireless torch and even a separate laser or power bank. This system works brilliantly with a SpiderBot, allowing for a fully wireless system with both thermal and lighting, all magnetized directly to your roof or bonnet and powering the thermal at the same time. As you can see here, when the light is turned on, the kangaroo isn't very visible, but the thermal picks it up clearly. A great example of how effective thermal can be in the thicker country. We also offer higher powered torches that are strong enough to replace a spotlight for most users. This allows shooting under light for those who don't yet have a thermal scope, making it a simple, straightforward and fully wireless system. The Nova doesn't have a screen or buttons, but if you wanted to use it by hand, we have a range of handheld upgrades that allow you to use your phone as a screen while powering the thermal from a battery bank. All right, just a really quick run through the app here. We go view, view now. Now we wanna go up to top corner here and go full screen. And then we got our buttons on the side here. We've got our image stabilizer, which will zoom in and crop the image to do the stabilization. And we've got our laser on and off. Now we've got our range finder on and off. Now we've got our calibration, manual calibration, and our color palettes. As well as our zoom here. Tap on the screen, brings your menu up, or hides it and goes full screen. All right, let's take a close look at the Nova H35R now. 
very compact, simple device. Um, we've got our Picatinny rail at the bottom here. We've got our laser range finder and then our laser pointer, that little hole in there. And we've got our lens cap with our thermal lens, obviously. At the other end here, we've got our powering options. So you can power it from USB-C, either via a power bank like this or to your cigarette lighter or to another DC converter, that sort of thing. Now, if you prefer, you can also use the 12 volt in. And it comes with this little uh, plug here, which screws in and gives you a watertight connection. Now you can connect this up to 12 or 24 volt and it'll convert it down to the five volt for this machine to run. And that's basically it. So we've got no buttons, no power indication lights, um, no screen, nothing like that. It is a simple plug it in and connect it up to the tablet, which we will go through now. Let's quickly go through how to connect the Nova up to a tablet or your phone wirelessly. So first we've got to give it power. So we'll plug it into our power bank there and it'll power on. As I noted before, there is no power indication light. There's no battery, nothing inside. So you just plug it in and it'll show up on the Wi-Fi settings here in the tablet. We'll open that up, go to our Wi-Fi. Now, once the device is powered on, you'll see it show up there now. Now, once you've plugged it in and give it a minute or so to turn on, you can go to your tablet, go to settings, go to your Wi-Fi connections, and you'll see it pop up in here. There we go, so we've got Nova. Now the password is 12345678. By default, I've already connected to this device before um, it remembered the password. Once you've connected, you wanna make sure you have downloaded and installed the Knockpix app. Now, if we've already connected to the Wi-Fi connection, when we open up the app, it'll automatically pick it up and we can click view finder down here and start seeing what the thermal sees. But if it doesn't pick it up, you might need to close the app and then reopen it to refresh that connection. All right, let's take a quick look at how to operate this. So we'll hit the view finder button here and now this will allow us to see what the thermal sees. Up in the corner here, we hit this icon here and it'll go full screen. Um, and then to get rid of the buttons on the side, we can tap the screen and tap again and the buttons will come back, so on and so forth. And on the side here, we have image stabilization, which will crop the image in and initiate digital stabilization. And then we have laser pointer. If we hit that, it'll turn our laser pointer on. And if we go down, we've got our range finder button and then our manual calibration, that'll do an image calibration. Then we have our color palettes, allows us to change through the color palettes and our zoom button, which puts a picture in picture mode up the top here, which zooms in on that square. And this square shows you the area that it's zoomed in on. And then we have our record button on the side here and switch to photo mode as well, as well as access our recordings. Now keep in mind, all recordings are actually stored on the tablet itself. There is no memory on the Nova. Now we'll go back to the main menu by going down to the bottom icon down here. Now, as you'll see down the bottom here, we have a lot of other options. The main one that you'd be interested in is album, which will show you recordings and device, okay? The device section will allow you to see the devices that you've added. And if you tap on it and go inside here, you'll see whether there's any firmware updates, things like that, okay? All right, so as you can see, when I was connected to the Wi-Fi before, it detected an update and I downloaded it. And um, now I need to connect back to the device to be able to update the firmware. Let's go back to our settings, go to our Wi-Fi connections and connect back to the Nova so that we can install the update. All right, so now that we've connected back to the Nova and restarted the app, it's come up and said it's ready to update. Hit the update icon and it'll start uh, sending that update over to the device and running it for you. Doing firmware updates essentially work like this on the majority of firmware. So you first add your device to your tablet and to the app, and then you connect back to your uh, Wi-Fi connection at home, um, refresh the app, and it'll check if there's any updates. If there is, you hit download, it'll download the update. And then once it's downloaded, you need to go back in to your Wi-Fi, connect back to the thermal, 
close the app down, reopen it, and then go to your device and hit update firmware. And then that'll install the update that you just downloaded onto the thermal itself. So there's a couple of steps involved there and it can be confusing, but that's essentially how it works. So now the device will restart once the update's finished and reconnect to your tablet and you're ready to go again. Now we do have more in-depth um, videos going through the Knockpix app on uh, our other videos, but that covers just about everything. So that's how you set up the Nova. Very simple, very straightforward, and uh, you're in on the action very quickly. Now there is no power on or off button or anything like that. When you're done, you just unplug it and it'll turn off instantly because, well, you've taken the